Alan Higgins with Federal Resources, and we're here at the Guardian Center in uh, Perry, Georgia. And welcome back to our EOD video series. I'm here today with uh, Mr. Greg Bronze of Vatum, and we're going to be talking about the multi shot robotic EOD disruptor. Uh, it's a pretty badass looking tool, if I do say so myself. So, Greg, why don't you tell me a little bit about this? It has a single chamber design here, and it's designed to shoot uh, pan rounds of ammunition. Okay. It's a robotic magazine here uh, for loading and unloading cartridges in and out. And you can put any projectiles shots in here that you so want. So any of the pan rounds? Any pan rounds. Awesome. Do me a favor, walk me through just loading my, my cartridges into this thing. It's fairly easy. There's a cover here on the magazine. You unscrew these. Take the cover off. If you had a uh, projectile, a slug round, which I don't have with me, um, you would slide it in any tube, and then in the GUI you would mark what you're putting in. Okay. Um, this is a snappy cap representing a, a blank round. All right. You would slide the blank round in a tube. If it's a water shot, you would follow that up with a seal plug pair. There's a, a red and a black for a front and a back pair, and you would also put that in to the so tube. So in front with of it. any blank that you want to be doing a water shot, you would load those plug pairs. Correct. All and right. if you wanted to do three or four, however many, you'd put those seal plugs in right in front of a blank. How would it load the water? When we do water shots, we also add in this water filling adapter, and you would put that uh, into okay. one of the tubes. And you, you only you, need you one again of these. Would just tell it that, that that adapter is in 2B or whatever. You would, you would tell the software that it's there, and you only need one of these to support the whole magazine. Off of this platform here is a, is a pump and a bag that has enough water in it to uh, support up to seven water shots. Okay. Um, and there's a single chamber here. So what would happen is you would robotically move to the tube that has the seal plug and the cartridge would push that seal plug into the forcing cone of the barrel. Plug These there. would stay right here. They would stay right there. All right. So then that goes back in. This goes back in. And we rotate around to that water filling adapter that we talked about, which is basically just a tube. And we would load water in that way. Um, when the when the water comes in here, it would go through the little hole in the back end here, and these would separate and fill the barrel with 140 okay, so milliliters of water. Water pressure would push this out mm -hmm. once it's full. And then push the blank round in behind the rear sear plug, which is sitting right here. Awesome. And then you're ready to go. And then you're ready to fire. How are we protecting the robot from uh, the recoil uh, damaging the arms? When you first fire the shot from this forward position, it'll push back and the hydraulic will kick in and, and slow it down. So I can push it back very easily myself, yeah. but under recoil, it's gonna... When you hit it really hard, yeah, if I it'll hit it grab really it. Hard, it just bites in and it right. won't allow you to go right. anywhere. And so, uh, the recoil reduction on this system is about a 40 to 1 reduction of wow. what it would be with a pan sh shot alone. Um, and so this is a, a way that you can put these on smaller and smaller robots. Okay. How many shots do we have with this system? If you're doing all projectiles, you can do eight. If you're doing at least one water shot, you can do seven total. Fantastic. And how long does it take to, between shots, if I fire once, how long is it going to take me to reload, reshoot the, the weapon? If you're doing or the de-armor, I should. If you're say, doing a slug to slug, it's about three minutes. If you're doing a water shot or any shot to another water shot, uh, it takes about five minutes. Okay, but that's still much shorter than it would take you to bring a robot back to you, load your plugs, fill it with water, load a blank round right. in. Correct. That's, that's fantastic. Anything else you want to cover, Mr. Gray? Uh, well, the striker is here, and oh, yeah. uh, and when you want to fire. The magazine will rotate back around to put the striker in line with the barrel, and it's kind of like a pinball action. Uh, there's a magnetic end down here that would grab here, pull it back, let go, and fire. Well, that is a, a pretty neat tool. And uh, from the Guardian Center, Federal Resources, Invade them. Thank you very much.